Hey, Stacy. Uh, so I hear you want to connect to Webinar Jam. Uh, so I was perusing through the Webinar Jam API documentation as well as their integration documentation, and it looks like you're restricted to using Zapier in order to integrate in terms of doing things when something happens in Webinar Jam, like someone misses an event or they attend an event. Um, they actually have a list for the available actions or triggers that they offer. So when there's a new registration, uh, there's a new, uh, a user attends, a user purchases something. Uh, and then that way, whenever that thing happens in Webinar Jam, it goes through Zapier, and then you could webhook that over to Groundhog to update the contact record or add them to a funnel or apply a tag or anything of that nature. Now, that being said, it doesn't seem that they have sort of any actions in order to like add someone to a webinar or add a new contact that I can see, uh, which is unfortunate. Otherwise, then that way you'd be able to post out from Groundhog to um, their service, uh, but it doesn't look like that's possible. Uh, so in terms of sending emails for people to register for Webinar Jam, uh, I don't see why you couldn't still set up uh, a broadcast or a funnel uh, with a series of emails where the call to action of those emails is to take them to your Webinar Jam registration page uh, or the actual join URL of that webinar. Don't see why that's not possible, uh, but in terms of like an integration, it, like a like an actual connection, it looks like you're restricted to uh, Zapier and just a triggers from Webinar Jam and then posting that information to Groundhog. So I hope that answers your question or provides you a little bit of clarity and direction. You can still send emails from Groundhog and just have your you know all the links go to Webinar Jam. Uh, no special integration is required for that. So if you have any further questions, please let me know. We'll be happy to help.